I'm going to show you how to make these quick and easy chocolate mug cakes. Can you see? There's chocolate cake in here. And you're going to make it in the microwave. It cooks in just two minutes and then it's going to rest for a short time. You can eat them warm if you want or you can let them cool. They're so easy to make. This is great for kids to make too and I'm going to show you exactly how to make it. We're going to start with a medium bowl and a few ingredients. Here we go. To make this you need a medium sized bowl and here are the ingredients. A quarter cup of flour, a quarter cup of sugar, a quarter cup of powdered cocoa powder, <laughs> powdered cocoa powder. And then um, just a tiny bit, a dash of salt, which is just a little shake of salt. Then stir it together, or you can use a whisk, a fork, a spoon, whatever you want to just stir these four dry ingredients together. All right, now next, you're going to um, Break two eggs into a small bowl and just mix it up with a fork or a small whisk and pour that in. And you'll also do a quarter cup of milk. I'm using almond milk. One teaspoon of vanilla. And a quarter cup of melted butter. Now a quarter cup of butter is equal to a half stick of butter. So you can take a half a stick of butter and then melt it. I've melted it in this container in the microwave. If you melt butter in the microwave you have to be careful though that it doesn't run over because it melts very quickly. Or you can melt it in a saucepan on the stove. So half a stick of butter is a quarter cup. Melt it, put that in. Now we're going to stir it. I start with a spoon and then I go with a spatula just to make sure I get all of the dry ingredients mixed up. So we're almost done stirring this. This is something that would be easy for kids to make. Just make sure the bowl you use is big enough because Little children can splash <laughs> sometimes. So you want to make sure that as many lumps are gone as possible. So you see I really didn't need to use beaters. I'm going to scrape it down a little bit here. And then maybe use a spatula to make sure that all the dry parts are incorporated. Now I'm going to add my last ingredient, a quarter cup of chocolate chips. And use the semi-sweet, regular chocolate chips, whatever brand you like. Okay, so the batter is really thin. And now I'm ready to put it into the two mugs. So I have my two mugs here and just divide it evenly. This is where it's awfully soupy. So do it however you want. Or you can fast forward the video so you don't have to watch me scoop all this in. So maybe this is the part that takes the longest. Yes, you could pour it in, for those of you who are wondering. could you just pour it in from the spout? Yeah, but then I make a mess and this is on video. And you're not going to fill it to the top. These are normal size coffee mugs. I'm just going to eyeball it to get an even amount in them. Oop. I mean, 
willing to do that. Okay, now I'm going to scoop. And this is where I go back to the, the spatula to get every little bit, last bit out. And then you don't answer the phone. <laughs> That's what voicemail's for. And then as a last ingredient, I'm going to put about seven chocolate chips just right in the top of each. And now we're ready to put it in the microwave. In the microwave, I like to put a paper towel down. I've never had this spill, but you never know. You saw I made a mess in the outside of the mugs that I've now cleaned up. So I put a paper towel down and I'm going to shut the microwave and you're going to microwave this on the highest power for two minutes. So my microwave defaults to the highest power anyway, so I'm going to give it a cook time of two minutes and start. When they finish in the microwave, take them out, but put them on the kitchen counter. They're not done yet. They need to sit for at least 15 minutes. They're still cooking inside a bit, and anyway, they're too hot. So set a timer for 15 minutes. My mug cakes are done. They've sat for 15 minutes, and they are still warm. You can eat them warm, or you can let them sit and cool completely. You know, when I first saw this recipe, I thought they were going to be an ooey gooey mess. I thought it would be all, you know, wet cake batter in here. But it really turns into cake. Mm, oh my gosh. And easy to make. And just a couple little cakes. You can either eat the whole thing or eat a little bit and cover it with plastic wrap and let it sit for a while and have a little bit more later. So try these and make a comment on this video and let me know what you think. I still have cake in my mouth.